Good morning everyone, it's Melissa Phillips here and today I wanted to focus on colored pencils. Um, I use my marker so much but I don't often grab my colored pencils and I've seen so many wonderful examples online um, of people using their colored pencils on craft cardstock or even on black cardstock which I want to try next. Um, but just a couple of cards that I made here. This uses the vintage uh, linen stamp set and I stamped my blooms on craft card stock and heat embossed using white embossing powder and then just colored in using my my colored pencils and this one uses the Botanical Blocks 2 stamp set and more craft card stock and white embossing powder and then I just used some different shades of blue in my colored pencils um, and colored in my Botanical Block there so I thought we would recreate one more and my challenge for you this week is to focus on colored pencils and if you'll notice both of these cards this one says take time to heal and this one says be brave um, maybe focus on some thinking of you sympathy get well type of cards so um, to begin with I stamped my botanical blooms 2 image on craft cardstock using um, my embossing pad and then I coated it with white embossing powder and heated it up so now it's ready it's set and I can start coloring with my colored pencils I for some reason always thought that um, using colored pencils on craft cardstock would make the colors dull but it's it's kind of just the opposite they create a really vibrant color but at the same time really kind of soft and vintagey. I, I really like the effect. So since I've used blue I think we'll go ahead and just start with pinks on this particular botanical block. And I'll start with my lightest color first. Um, these happen to be watercolor colored pencils but I'm not going to use water with them at all so I think any type will work just just wonderfully well and so I'll begin with my softest color and then we'll do some shading with different colors as we go on okay so I'm done with my my light soft pink and I've got a bit darker pink here and I'm just going to go over the areas of the flower that naturally I would think would be darker than the others. So in nature, normally the inside, the, the very center of the flower seems to be a little bit darker than the outer petals. So I'm just going to darken up this center portion. There's not a huge difference, but it's it's a little bit of a soft effect giving that more bold color right there in the center not too extreme okay and then I think I'll focus on maybe some peachy oranges kind of towards the tips of each petal Maybe um, just as if the sun were shining and lighting up those those edges a little bit. I love flower petals. My goodness, they're so translucent, and when the sun does hit them just right, you can you can just about see right through them, and they're just so beautiful. I love creating with flowers, stamping with flowers, especially as I'm wishing for spring. I don't know how well you can see, but there's a little bit of different shading in there. But just a nice, beautiful, soft effect. I love these colored pencils. Why haven't I tried this a long, long time ago? Okay, next we'll focus on our leaves. And I'll start with the lightest shade of green that I've got. And then go back with my darker shade and just add maybe a few little details along the center vein but such a simple
technique. It just doesn't require too much, <laughs> too much skill. That's kind of where I'm at here. I feel like a beginner, so this is perfect. Just finished with my lighter shade of green, and I'm gonna go back over with my darker, just just a little tiny bit. Doesn't require too much. This is probably not a new technique for you. Um, that's wonderful. I just thought we'd make it a challenge so that we could all give it a try and kind of help one another as we learn the secrets of this. This is just lots of fun. I still love coloring just as much as I did when I was a kid. Okay, so coloring is done. Um, now, what I'll show you is not anything that has anything to do with the colored pencils, but I like to make a kind of a collage look on my craft. Um, and in this particular card, I went over with Spring Rain ink and my background basic sheet music stamp and you can just lightly see in the background those fun little music notes so that's one thing that I love doing um, I've always loved the collage look and on these particular blooms this one is the background basics polka dot polka dot basics and then this one is textile so just barely barely you can see those tiny little details but they're fun and they add to the card so we'll go ahead and stamp uh, something fun in the background of this one too. I decided to do some more polka dots so I've got my polka dot basics 2 stamp set and my pale peony ink and before cutting my block out from the cardstock I'm just going to stamp my polka dots doesn't give a very profound effect, but I do love it. Who doesn't love a polka dot here and there, you know? So much fun. Okay, this one might be my fave. Okay, you can see how those fun little polka dots just kind of create one more layer, a little bit more character. I just realized that I did not color my border. So, select a color, get my border colored in. I think we'll go with one of those peachy oranges that aren't too bold. And just give that border a little bit of definition. So easy to stay in the lines when you've got this nice thick layer of embossing powder here. Keep you in check. It doesn't do too much, this border, but it's kind of nice to add a little bit of coloring there. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm just going to trim that out with my scissors and we will um, create the rest of our card. Okay, to finish our card, I used some Sheer Basics vellum and cut a card that was um, card base, which was 11 inches long and three and a half inches across. Cut a block of Sheer Basics vellum to fit over the front. Um, I love vellum. It always just adds the perfect softness. And for these type of cards, for sympathy and get well cards, praying for you cards, um, I think softness is, is so important. So across the bottom I used my Keep It Simple Praying For You stamp set and heat embossed that with white powder. And I'm just going to very, very loosely attach my layers because I'm going to stitch them at the top with my sewing machine to keep everything in place, but um, I wanted to leave them loose. 
I like I like the movement and I like how there's just it adds some dimension when they're not completely adhered flat. So before I attach my botanical block stamp, I'm going to tie some twine around my card and tie it on the side. And then I'll use some dimensional adhesive and we'll adhere that right in place. Do you have a favorite type of dimensional adhesive that you use? I'm always trying something new, um, but right now I love these little foam squares. Except that the little backing, I find them everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And for a person without long nails, they're kind of tricky to get off, but. So that is about it. Um, let's see, you could add sequins, um, glitter. I'm going to use my Wink of Stella pen. This is, what do I have here? This is just the clear, clear glitter. So you can't see it unless you're holding this little puppy in your hands. But I do love how soft it looks once it's on. I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter. And, and that's it. So I hope that you'll give some thought this week into using your colored pencils. I would love to see how you use them. I'm hoping I'll see some used on black cardstock pop up. Um, and I am going to try that myself. So thanks so much for joining me and we'll see you soon.